Hi, Gemini. I'm Brenda, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 5th to October the 12th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and all the subscribers coming into me every day that are faithfully and loyally watching these videos. I want to thank all those people coming into me for uh, readings as well. And should you desire a reading, uh, the new people coming in, my website is, I invite you to go to my website and check me out and see if I'm the one that you feel you uh, would trust and like to do a private reading for you. My website is www. Brenda Carol, spelled T A R O dot info. Hope to see you soon, Gemini. On Monday, at the beginning of the week, we start our day off with an air card. This is the five of air. The air cards are about the justice in our life. They're about communication in our life. They, perhaps some of you are dealing with a legal system right now in your life. That's what the air cards refer to. This one is telling me that there's a choice that you are in the process of having to make, but they're referring to it as an unwise choice. You need to learn from this situation and review everyone's motives when you decide to make this choice, or it will be an unwise choice. So you need to do your homework on that one. Excuse me, on Tuesday you've been given the page of Earth. And the Earth cards are all about um, the material things in our life, how we bring in uh, the, uh, the abundance into our life or perhaps the currency into our life, our jobs, careers, and so on. They can also have to do with Mother Earth. They can have to do with our home. They can have to do with security, health, and resources, education, and the society. But generally, they have to do with the finances in our life. This particular page of Earth is about good news about financial matters for some of you. So perhaps some of you have been worrying or expecting money to come in or something like that or a job or, or, or something like that. It's good news in that department. It has to do with financial matters. Um, and it's also telling me that some of you are wanting to do something different and a bit more challenging right now with your, uh, with your life. And perhaps it has to do with your job because it refers to some of you taking up a new form of study to enhance you in that department. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you've been given the five of water, and as you know, I love the water cards, but this particular water card, the five, tells me that things are not turning out for some of you the way you wished they had or you'd hoped they had, to the point where you're not seeing a positive in any of this situation. So they refer to this as crying over spilt milk, and I tell everybody, you know how easy it is to get rid of spilt milk? Gone. Don't worry. On Thursday, you've been given an air card, and again, these air cards have to do with the communication in our life and, um, you know, the justice in our life. Uh, and perhaps the legal system, as I was telling you, it's telling me this is the locking horns card. You see what I mean? There's the two different uh, unicorns locking horns. And it's being unable and unwilling to make a uh, decision right now. You seem to be at a stalemate, some of you. You've locked horns with it, either the situation or another person in your life. And and, and to the point where one of you or even both of you have turned your backs and you've walked away even though you've locked horns, it's like you're pretending there isn't a problem when there really is. So you need to deal with this issue in order to move forward and uh, because you're stuck. You're in a stalemate unless you do. On Friday, you've been given another water card, and this is the Queen of Water. This is all about a relationship developing to a new level for some of you, and you need to trust your own intuition and your own instincts. Uh, because if you do, it's all about you caring for yourself and able to care for others. This card's been coming up quite a bit in the readings, too. On Saturday, you've been given a fire card. Now, the fire cards have to do with representing our ideas, setting our dreams into motion, perhaps risk-taking, mainly self-development. This is about abundance. Things are very, very good for some of you, and you you need to have patience at this time, though, okay? So it's telling me that some of you have been waiting for something to come in. Abundance can come in the form of many different things. So you need to be a bit patient at this time, because when this abundance comes in, they're telling me that you're going to now be able to make long-term plans because of it. Another fire card. 
okay, page of fire for the end of the week. Um, it's about a new and exciting endeavor coming into some of you at the end of the week. Um, and you need to use your own originality and in ingenuity with this new and exciting endeavor when it does come in. <coughs> the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card to tie in this weekly reading. And this is the card that the universe sent you, my friend. Change in direction. So, but this, this change in direction they're telling me is a good change for you. Okay? It's opened your heart and you need to open your heart to the love and the guidance coming into you right now because know that you're protected by your guides and your angels. And uh, in, so follow your path and be happy because the outcome is going to be what you desire. I thank you again, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with a quote, and the quote I chose today is, Be mindful of your self-talk. It is a conversation with the universe, so we attract what we are, what we throw out in the universe, we get bounced right back at us. I'll see you again next week, Gemini, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friends.